Let's talk about transmuting chaos. And if you haven't already, make sure to press subscribe so you get notified when videos just like this come out in the future. One of the most crucial things to know about a chaotic time like the one that we are in now is that chaos is simply untamed energy. That means that right now is one of the best times to become creative, to ride that energy, and to create the life that you want after this pandemic blows over. So one of the first things to think about is this. During any Great Depression war or massive civilization change, there are always people who come out on top. Now, while it seems all doom and gloom when you look at the news or when you talk to any of your friends who are pessimists, the reality of the situation is that you could be better off just from what is going on, simply because similar to how hermetic philosophy works and they talk about free will being the ability to see the law of rhythms and know when a downturn is coming, you are able to right now understand what is going on with the economy, what is going on with health, and what is going on globally, and then be able to see that as a map and use that to create the life that you want after this is all over. How do you do that? Well, there's a lot of different ways to quote unquote transmute this chaos. And what I would say is first start with the end goal. What was your five-year goal before? And can you move that up to be your two-year goal now? Are you entering a state of reactiveness or are you being proactive? Because proactiveness will allow you to get to where you want to go. But reactiveness is going to mean that you are being affected by everything that is going on around you. So if right now you're able to switch from a reactive, everything is happening to me, to a proactive, everything is happening for me, mental state, you're going to then be able to really shape what you want your next two, three, four years to look like, especially with an economic downturn coming and more and more health crises coming over these next six to 12 months. Then I would think about all the things that you used to do that you can't do right now, that either took money, time, effort, energy, whatever it was, that now you can shift into creating the reality and the life that you want. So what I have been looking at is, of course, the stock market, when things go low, buy. But I'm being very cautious with this because I know that we are likely going to see more of a downturn. The housing market, I definitely want to buy a house in Austin, Texas, but I'm waiting because I want to see how the market plays out during these next six, 12, 18 months. My business, during this time, Attention Labs, and I'll link that channel somewhere else, is actually seeing an increase in profit and revenue. And the reason is we are aiming to help people during this time. We're not going in there with a money hungry grabbing oh, we raised toilet paper prices 500%, but instead we're going in with a, hey, we actually discounted and are giving free shipping to customers to allow them to get what they need during a hard time. Another thing that I've been working on is body weight strength. I've been doing a lot more one-arm push-ups, handstand push-ups, and really figuring out how the body works and how fluid I can have movements be. By doing this, I'm gonna come out of this pandemic, this quarantine period, feeling better, looking better, and being able to move in a whole new way. And so those are just a few of the ways that I've been trying to utilize the chaos that is coming from the pandemic. Maybe for you it's art, maybe for you it's dance. Try uh, Steezy dance classes, which are online dance classes that we've been having fun with over in the household that I'm quarantined in. Or maybe you just want to literally rest because the earth is saying right now for everyone to rest. Whatever that is, get clear on it. Because doing anything without intention, even in quarantine, is doing something with the intention of no intention, which is going to lead to bad results. Or the most common phrase, failing to plan is planning to fail. Make sure that you've set up an environment and a situation that is going to allow you to prosper during this period of rest globally. Drop below what you are going to be working on or what you think you'll be able to transmute this chaos into. Otherwise, make sure to press the subscribe button so you get notified of videos just like this come out in the future. 